Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have completed update user part of pharmacy management system project. If you are not seen that video, just go to description and check out the link. In this video, we are going to work on profile part. So let us start with that. Let me exit this application. Now let me create a new JFrame form for this one. So right click on this JFrame form. And here we have to write profile and click on finish. It will create a form for us. And after that, we have to write the size of 500, 850 and 500. After that, we are going to remove min max close button. So I'm going to click on this one and going to close it. After that, we have to put a label over here. So label and rename it as a profile. Uh, let me increase the size to 36 and make it as bold. Make it as bold 36 and click on OK and close this. After that, here we need a button. So I'm going to place it the button and I'm going to change this one icon. So the icon will be close. And this one will be 12, I think. Yeah, 12. Uh, okay, so it does not contain any. So remove this one and close this. And here we also need to decrease the sizes to 30, 28, and just place it over here. And after that, we need a separator. So just place the separator over here. And let's increase the size of this one to the max of this form. So it's 850 size of this, this splicer. Sorry, separator. And after that, here we have to display a label. And let me close this one. And in this label, we have to display the profile, right? So we have to select profile PNG image. This one. Place it over here, edit text, and remove the text from this one. After that, we need one more label. So in that label, we are going to display the username. So I'm going to write a user name. And after that, we have to create form. So just place form one by one. So the first will be for name. And here we need text field for this one. So I'm going to place a text field. And the size will be 300 for this one. After that, the next field which is required to be mobile number. So I'm going to write here mobile number. And we need text field for this one also. So I'm going to place a text field over here and increase the size of this one. And let me increase the size to 300. Okay, it's getting resized automatically. Not a problem. Let's place other fields first. So I'm going to place other one. And here we're going to write email. And let me place a text field this one. Let me increase the size of this one to 300. Okay. And let me place in last field. There will be address. We will write address. Then we are going to place the text field over here. And let me try to increase the size of this one also. Okay. So let's close this form and open it again. Then try to increase the size of this one. Might be this will not. Okay. So this one is giving us issue. Let's decrease the size from this side. Okay. It's working like this. Now you can see we are able to. Okay. Now we have to place a button over here to update this one. So I'm going to put it over here. And we have to select all these fields and we have to make it as bold 12. I'm going to select this one and making it bold 12. OK. And close this one. And after that, we are going to, uh, like, we also need to set the icon for this one. So I'm going to save icon this one. And we also need to up write update and click on and close this one. You can see. We also need to remove the text from this all the fields. So I'm going to do one by one. And this one also. And this one also. Remove this and save this. After that, we have to change the layout to the absolute layout. And then we have to save it. Let's check out the size of this one 850 and 500. Yeah. Now place a label over here and go to the properties and here we have to select all page background this one and place it over here double click on this remove the label name and save this and after this 
we have to go to the source of this page and over here we have to write public string email pattern and here we have to get this one checks and paste it over here public string mobile number pattern and we have to paste it from here and paste it over here and then we have also need one username which is going to be pass it from admin dashboard or pharmacist dashboard because we are going to use the same profile on the both dashboard okay after this we have to just copy paste this part of the code over here format this one and inside this we are expecting a string from user me and here we have to write user name is equals to temp username and set location and relative uh, sorry location relative to null and we have to uh, connect this page with our admin dashboard to go to the admin dashboard and double click on this profile to generate the event a new profile profile and here we pass the username dot set visible and then we have to write true save this go to the profiles and we have to go to the design and double click on this one to generate the event and here we have to write set visible and here we have to mark it false Let's draw a little down and then we get back to the okay so here we have to generate an event in that like whenever the page get load so we have to call that event so go to the navigator and the navigator you can see the js j frame right so right click on this click on event events and component show event you have to generate inside this event you have to write try catch block catch block to suppress the exceptions exception and e and if any error occur display we need to j option and dot show messages and null and then here we have to write e and in the try block uh, before writing anything we just need to import one uh, like java dot sql dot asterisk let's get back over here again and here in the try block we have to write connection con is equals to connection provider that we need to import it from dao package which we have created get con method and after that a statement st is equals to con dot create a statement let me scroll this one here we have write result set rf is equals to st dot st dot execute query and we have to pass the query and here we have write select select star from app user where user name is equals to single quotes double quotes and here we have pass the user name and while rs dot next and here we have to get and here we have to set the values so we have to also change the name of this fields so change variable name so txt name and here we have to change this txt mobile number mobile number txt email address txt email and txt address save this and this label name we are going to change this to lbl label so name and then we are going to back over here and txt name dot set text here and rs dot get get a string and here we are going to use the name after that t uh, after that txt mobile number dot set text rs dot get 
string and here we are going to write mobile number and after that txt email address dot set text email with this rs dot get string and here we have to use email and txt address dot set text and rs dot get a string and here we have to pass address label username set text here we have to pass the user after that uh, like never let's log in and uh, check it out like it's working or we are having any issues or not so let me run from the login file and here i'm going to log in as an admin 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 and i'm going to click on login you can see we are able to log in if i click on profile you can see automatically load all the details lead to that particular user you can see the admin is over here you can username name you can see here you can see the mobile number you can see the email address you can see also the address okay so it means that it's working fine as expected till now so now we have to write the code to update this particular particular uh, details or fields so just double click on this date so it will generate the event for us and after that we have to write name and txt name we have to get the values from that particular fields and after that the string mobile number mobile number and txt mobile number dot get text and after that the string email is equals to txt email dot get text and after that the string address txt address dot get text and if doom dot equals and here we have to j option pan dot show messages null and here we write the message so name field is required this we have to display after that i'm going to copy this field line of the code and then we write else if and here we write mobile number mobile number dot equals the same as then we have to display mobile number number field is required and else if not mobile number number dot match and mobile number pattern or or mobile number mobile number dot length is not equals to 10 we are checking that uh, the length of that but given mobile number should be 10 okay if not then we have to display that uh, this field is invalid so here we have to mobile number field is invalid and after that else if and here we have to write email dot equals and here we have to write g option pan sorry here we have to just write paste it and we will write email field is required and else if email email dot match email pattern and here we have to write paste it over here so email field is invalid and after that the last validation we need to do is for the address so here we have to write address dot equals then we have to display here address field is required. this field is required and in this condition we need to pass the execute the query so i'm going to write here try catch block catch block 
exception E and we need to display the inner so I'm going to remove this part and I'm going to write here E only and in try blog you have to write the code to execute like update actually so I'm going to write here connection 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 pawn is equals to connection provider dot get pawn and after that prepared statement and ps is equals to pawn dot prepared statement and here we have to write update app user is equals to question mark and mobile number is equals to question mark and of the email this and here user email is equals to question mark and at last we have to put the same equal and then we have to press enter we have to move to the next line you can see the complete query over here and here we have to write yes dot set string one and at first position we have to set me I need to spray all this one I'm going to copy paste this line of the code four times one two three and four I'm going to rename it two three four and five and after the team next is mobile number and email address and here we have to write user name ps dot execute cute update this one and then we need to display g option dot show message and here we have to write null and here we have to write profile success fully updated and then we have to write set visible false and new will be profile and profile and here we have to pass the username dot set visible and here we write true and you can see the coding part of update is also our profile update is also completed so let's test it out it's work or we having any issue just run the file and let's log in with admin credentials admin admin and click on login click on profile and if I try to change the name and click on update profile updated successfully if I click on ok you can see it's updated let me change this one here and here let me try to update profile updated successfully you can see the data is visible and changes is also visible over here so it means that our profile part is working as expected and this is all about the file part. So I hope you guys like this video. So please hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.